My name is Justin Rin. A lot of people call me the big pygmy. Um, and that's my fight name. I am a professional mixed martial artist with a record of 16 wins and two losses. Um, and yeah, fighting is my job. I'm paid to do what I love for a living. Um, but it comes with the territory. Injuries are gonna happen. I would say when I got injured on a pain scale, it was at least a nine, if not a blaring 10 when it happened. Um, and it was that way for eight or 10 weeks. Uh, I had bulged not just one or two, but three uh, disc um, in my spine, in my back. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of pain um, for months and months. It was uh, a good seven or eight months until I finally got the stem cell injections, uh, which really helped. Um, but the whole seven or eight months, I would say my pain level was probably at a seven or eight. Um, and, or at least discomfort level at a, a, a really high seven or eight. And if I tried to train, I'm a professional athlete, a fighter, um, it prevented my training quite a bit. Um, a lot of the moves I like to do, uh, it kept me up from sleeping. Um, it made everything uncomfortable. Riding in a car for short distances, um, it, was, it was very, very painful. I even went, um, I didn't want to have any sort of surgery, um, even minimally invasive. Like I, did, I didn't want to go that route, um, but I did um, do six epidural shots of some sort of steroid or cortisone or something like that. Um, three of the disc, and I think it was facet joint injections, where there was uh, on the three tiers, two syringes in each one. Um, had that done and I came out of that actually I, I think some people really get a significant benefit from that uh, But for me, it was significantly worse and, and pain um, for uh, At least two weeks. I think it was 10 to 14 days where um, For me it, it made things worse um, so so even opening up to the stem cell treatments was um, I was on the fence about but I heard that the needles were a lot less and instead of them needing to do six, they could do one in a central location, um, a lot less invasive than the six uh, big needles or epidural <laughs> size needles. This was one smaller, much smaller needle. Um, and whenever they did it, I was in and out. That same day, I felt great. Um, I mean, like I could drive back to Oklahoma City from Dallas-Fort Worth. I was three hours. Um, I was able to do that car ride uh, like a piece of cake whenever it was really, really tough um, to get from Oklahoma City back to my home um, with the six epidural needles. Uh, so I would say beforehand, uh, the disc at moment of impact and the pain or injury, it was a nine or a 10. Consistently or constantly, it was back and forth between seven and eight. And then after the stem cell injections, uh, which kind of blew me away, and I've looked into a lot of regenerative medicine, I've had reginokine or reginokine on both of my knees, um, which was great, but, but these stem cells brought my discomfort level down to a, a two or three um, in a week, uh, maybe, maybe two weeks. I'm only about four weeks in, uh, and my pain level feels phenomenal. I was able to go to Las Vegas to the CES um, convention, uh, all day long trade shows uh, from early morning to late at night. And I was able to stand and pain free, uh, which is uh, my, my feet hurt me instead of my back, which was uh, nuts. Yeah, so the clinic has helped me immensely. Dr. Juan has been incredible. I love how he takes a multifaceted approach where he's not just doing uh, one quick fix or band-aid solution, but it's the stem cells. I mean, he's a orthopedic spine surgeon, I believe, and to not just have the, the backing and knowledge of a surgeon, but also a guy who's plant-based and vegan and just his nutritional and supplemental um, advice and then also his um, 
incredible expertise whenever it comes to regenerative medicine. I mean, it's, it's, it's all together. It's a pretty awesome place to come and uh, feel treated really, really well. Um, best treatment I've ever had whenever it comes to anywhere I've ever trained or fought or needed medical attention and I've had quite a few surgeries so um, from a man with some experience at many different places all over the United States this is my favorite. And I'm the founder of Fight for the Forgotten. It's an initiative among the Mabuti Pygmies in Eastern Congo where we empower the locals to be able to knock out the world's water crisis for themselves and also empower the locals to see the Mobuti Pygmies transition out of a life of generational slavery and into a life of freedom. So we do land, water, and food initiatives. We have 32 employees, 20 full-time, 12 part-time, and we've drilled 70 water wells, helped the Mobuti Pygmies get back uh, 3,000 acres of land, and there's a documentary being filmed. A book's already come out entitled Fight for the Forgotten, but the documentary is uh, documenting how over 1,500 people have transitioned out of a life of slavery into freedom. Justin Wren, 